So you've installed your Flow Hive frames about a week or two ago, and you're getting a similar result to me, which is very little take up of the bees, even though the uh, brood box is nice and full. And at this point, I'm actually starting to worry that they may uh, swarm because it doesn't seem like they like the plastic frames too much. Or you may be really lucky and the, the bees really go for it. But if you're like me, I'm going to show you a trick. And this trick is using beeswax. And I've uh, actually bought this block of beeswax because if you're just starting out, you won't have beeswax to use. So I want to show you what it looks like when you buy some beeswax, how to prepare it, how to coat the frame with beeswax. And uh, you'll see that the bees settle in in no time once the frames are covered in beeswax. G'day, my name's Z from Z's Bees. I'm a beekeeper based in the southern highlands of New South Wales. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoy this video. So first of all, you're going to want to heat up your knife. The beeswax is pretty hard and a hot knife will cut through it so much easier. Then you just want to cut it up into small blocks. It's actually, it doesn't really matter exactly how small, but what you need to take into account is the container that you're going to put it in to melt it. So I'm just using a um, half liter Pyrex glass container. So I'll need to make these blocks pretty small. So Not easy. And I have to heat it up some more. Okay, now you probably won't need too much to wax the frames, so I'm just using two cutoffs. Then what we're going to do is actually fill this with water, just high enough that it can actually heat the um, glass, but not so much that it will tip over. So you're filling this pot, not the, uh, not the glass. So I've only sort of half filled, like it's, a, it's a, just under the 300 mil mark on the Pyrex container. So next you're just going to bring this uh, water to a boil. It'll start to melt this wax. You might want to stir it around a little bit. Just be mindful that whatever you do use um, that touches the wax will probably become a permanent wax object. So this brush, probably no good after this for brushing anything on food. This glass container, probably only good for wax uh, because the wax is pretty hard to get off things. And that's why I'm not melting it inside this, um, this pot because I want to use that for other cooking. Okay. You can see that that's now all melted down. Just be careful, it's obviously all quite hot. And all that's left to do is get some of that wax. Let it drip in. Once it starts to harden up a bit, which will be pretty quick, then go onto the frame here and paint it on. I 
And that's it really. You just work your way down these frames. And then once you've gone all the way along on both sides, you just let that dry for a little bit, pop it back in the hive, and the bees will love it. Thanks for watching.